for side action, and we're just about set to kick off. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. kick this one off and we're just about set to get underway. He just drills this one. He'll return it from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Second and ten. Ball in the 23. And he throws it away. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Booming kick. And he's taken down at the 48. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the game. He's going to go for the home run. Almost picked off. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. For their own 48 yard line. It's second down. Quickly, it picked off. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick. And no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. one yard line. It's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. they had to for the first down. It's first and ten. Ball in the 25.
The sack makes this a fourth and very long. USC could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it sails right on him. No good. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception is weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He goes out of bounds at the 41. He scrambled. Wants to go long and does. And down he goes. Around the three yard line. The receiver did a nice job to separate himself from the defense on that one. And the defense is going to play the main coverage out there. All the receiver has to do is get a step, and a quarterback's going to find it. take off and run with it. It's up, and he got it! Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the point, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The Nittany Lions have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they played up to this point. But just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 26-yard line. Thirty-five yard line. Right. 
It took about five yards on that hookup. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. First and ten. Ball in their own 35. Incomplete. 
from their own 42-yard line. Second down. In the shotgun and five wide outs. And that one's incomplete. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. on that play, the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Jackson is back deep to return the punt. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Great passing was the key to the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick across the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he tackles him hard at the 31. their own 31 yard line. Second down. teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Penn State is up by three. He's hit and taken down. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice game in the first down. They 
bringing down in the backfield. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is 
trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. Didn't happen that time. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Penn State with a six-point lead. so far today. It's first and ten. 
Ball on the 37. That ball was only tips. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. Goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punch. He's got an opening. He's pushed out of bounds at the 33. We've played a half of football here. The Dendy Lions with a 16 point lead. Hi everybody, glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football Sports Game Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's David State Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both teams wanted to establish a running game, both teams were stubborn in trying to do so, and neither team was successful. Did you get the sense the defense knew what was coming to Hey, dude, first and ten means run. Yeah, I think, I think when you do it every single time, it doesn't really uh, make it hard for a defense to figure out. You can become much more aggressive. You've got to take some chances. Uh, you want to stick with the run. You want to have that balance. But if you don't push the ball down the field, then I never have to honor it. So mix in some first down passes and runs. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out. You know, second half, Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And some daylight. Brought down after a nice run up the middle.
taken down right around the 46 yard line.
Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. And this one is a beauty. He makes it to the 35 yard line. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on the field. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. One thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up, try something different. It's not working. You can't continue to sit back on your heels. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets it. He's in space. There's a very impressive open field tackle. He's hit and taken down. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on 34. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. He's on the run, slides down to the ground. Four yards there on the scramble. Here's the eighth play of the series. to the tailback, and they'll get him in the backfield. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Five wide. Well, we've got a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, what does this do to the starter psyche? It's up and it's Putsy up right. Something happened, something that sparked them, maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball. Penn State, up six. He's to the point. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 45. So at the end 
of the third quarter. Penn State leads 23-17. Fourth quarter. This one will decide a tight ball game through three. Tackle after Deuce's pickup. He gets to out of the 24 yard line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball in the 25. Penn State with a six-point lead. And they get nice yardage on that one. What a bit of big play by the defense. He can't hold it. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing room. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. Dumps it complete over the middle. 28 yard line. Holden makes the tackle for the 28 yard line. That makes it third and seven. And he's hit immediately. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about who is a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was. He made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. receivers. Rock down the 47 yard line. Second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Slings it. And they make the stop around the 31 yard line. one yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 13. Anytime you're near the red zone, you've got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he's taken down the 20 yard line. score here might effectively end this one. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He airs it out. The defender has his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the ball. He can't get away from the pressure. Third and long now after the sack. Penn State holds just a two point lead. But that was a big hit on the quarterback. It's really interesting to see how he responds from this hit, and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges him to start playing a little bit better. Everybody up close, it looks like they're coming after this kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Feels us the 48. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we are one play away from a very different ball game. Scrambling around. And they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second down and 14 after the sack. Throws <laughs> complete. He's got space to work. And they push him out around the 26 yard line. is up and they 
attack out of three points. USC lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Almost picked off. So it's second and ten. Ball on the own 32. in the game. And he tackles him hard with the 48 yard line. The defender wanted a head start and they certainly got him for it. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. They come out in an empty backfield. In the shotgun and five wide out. Great pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Nothing going on that play. But here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Steps out of bounds at the 38. Kick is up, it's got the distance, and he nails the long field goal. Great points on the board. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. A little over a minute in the game. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds at the 33. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. the 47 yard line. Screen the pass, he's got his half back. Tackle made right around the 48 yard line.
downfield. And he holds it in deep downfield. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him on the first and goal. This was five. Face mask. Defense. And the defense gives up some three yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. So the kicker's on the field, and this kick is for the game. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. He's to the 20. Down at the 24. It's final. A close one to the very end. USC 30, Penn State 29. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.